This is the new DJI Mic 2, and before I talk about anything else, yes, it has 32-bit float recording. Woo! Now this video is sponsored by my friends at DJI. In fact, the audio that you're hearing right now is being recorded with the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. There you go, a little love tap for you. But first, I wanna show you everything that's included. Now, this is the carrying case of the DJI Mic 2. In fact, it's very similar to the carrying case of the Pocket 3. It's a little bit longer than the, than the DJI Mic carrying case, but there you go, that's what it looks like side by side. Uh, inside the case is everything that you could ever need for an interview or to film vlogs or to film an event like CES. You have the uh, the charging case itself, which kind of reminds me of a, of a mini DJI drone battery charger, but it's a little bit different than the original DJI mic. Here is the original. It's a bit smaller, lighter. The new one is, uh, is a little bit heavier, a little more robust. And there's this latch over here where you can't open the case unless you press the latch, which I really like. The original DJI mic does not have that. And sometimes like, my transmitters have fallen out because I picked up the charging case the wrong way from my bag. And so pretty cool that there's a latch to keep the transmitters and the receiver in place. Now the transmitter themselves, they look a lot different than the original DJI mic. They have this translucent side to them. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. And if you have the original DJI mic and you want to get these, it's a pretty easy visual way to distinguish which mic is what, you know? But just like the original DJI mic, you can house the transmitters here as well as charge them. Right, now let's talk about the receiver. It is vastly different than the original DJI mic. It not only has a touchscreen interface, but it has this thumb wheel so that you can adjust the audio parameters even more so, which is really cool. It's also slimmer than the original DJI mic. Here they are side by side. I mean, they're both pretty small. The only difference is that the, the new Mic 2 receiver is just a little bit longer and slimmer. And of course, to store and charge the receiver, uh, just place it back into the charging case. Oh, uh, and also in the charging case are these adapters for uh, for smartphones. You have a lightning connector, <laughs> rip. And then you have a USB-C adapter. Same deal as the original case. In the back is a USB-C port for charging. And then you'll see the battery indicator in the front. Uh, let's see if I can, there we go. I got three bars up over here, which means I need to charge it. Also in the case, you have your windscreen to so help cut down on that wind noise for each of the transmitters transmitters, but there is a new product from DJI, and that is the lav mic. Look how cute this thing is. What's really cool about the DJI lav mic is that you have this 360 swivel clip, which is really cool to adjust the mic properly when you're trying to attach it on a subject or yourself, because sometimes the mic can be pointing this way or that way, even though it's omnidirectional. It's just kind of nice to position the lav mic properly, and it's really helpful with this uh, 360 swivel. And then you got your audio cable to connect the receiver to your camera and that's pretty much it. Everything that you would need to film an interview or to film vlogs or to film an event like CES can be housed in this carrying case, which is really, really cool. All right, hi, hello, how are you? Uh, for this next segment, I'm gonna record with two different mics, uh, the DJI Lav mic and the transmitter so that you can hear the difference. So let me know down in the comments below which mic you think sounds better. Now, there are so many amazing features packed into the DJI Mic 2. I mean, there's a, a bunch of them. Some of my favorites are the 18 hour battery life with the charging case, uh, the Bluetooth pairing with other devices like the DJI Action 4 camera, the Pocket 3 camera, even your smartphone, more on that later. But probably my favorite feature of the DJI Mic 2 is the intelligent noise canceling. Basically, it removes unwanted background noise, leaving your voice sounding clean and clear. Let me demonstrate. All right, so I'm gonna fly my drone to create some unwanted background noise and I'm going to talk at the same time. And since I'm recording with two mics, one of the mics is recording without the intelligent noise canceling and the other one is. Okay, all right, well, steady, steady. All right, so I'm standing right next to the drone with the noise obviously being really loud and you shouldn't really hear my voice because I'm next to the propellers. Wow, that's really close. Also, it's windy, so there's all that wind noise, but Here's what the audio sounds like without the intelligent noise canceling. Test, test, one, two, three. And now here's the audio with the intelligent noise canceling. Test, test, one, two, three. The drone is like trying to fight the wind, but also it's like getting closer to, to my face. I feel like I'm gonna get hurt. I don't wanna get hurt. Oh my gosh, I should probably like wrap it up. But this is such a great feature, especially for those of you that don't wanna mess with audio in post. Like you just want clean, audio right from the get. And if you don't have to mess around with that in post, like that's gonna save you a lot of time. 
Now, I don't know if I use this feature all the time because I do like to edit and EQ my audio in post just because, you know, I want to. But if I want to expedite the filmmaking process and I don't have time to do all those edits, then yeah, I'm definitely going to be using the intelligent noise cancelling. Oh my gosh, it's like right next to my mouth. Oh gosh. I forgot how to fly. But how cool is that feature? All right, so some final thoughts. I, I really feel that DJI has stepped it up with the mic too. Like I love the original DJI mic. Like, like that was my main wireless audio for like a year and a half or whatever. But with all the improvements and the new features packed into the mic too, like this wireless setup is something that every creator should have. There are a few things I don't like about the DJI mic too. We'll talk about that later, but let's talk about the pros. 32-bit uh, float audio recording, like, Obviously, that's been something we've been demanding for a long time now. And if you don't know what 32-bit float audio recording is, basically, it's, uh, it's the ability to adjust your audio in post so much so that you don't have to worry about your audio clipping or raising the noise floor too high. It's kind of the equivalent of, of taking raw photos where you have the flexibility to adjust the colors and the tonality because of the dynamic range. Same idea, but with audio. I love that the mic 2 is ready to go straight out of the box. I love that everything comes included in this carrying case from the charging case and the transmitters and the receiver to the windscreens to the DJI lav mic, like everything that you could ever need to film an interview or to, to film a vlog or whatever is packed into this really, really convenient carrying case. Oh, and speaking of the lav mic, love this thing. It's so good. I love the swivel clip like that is so handy to position the mic as you see fit. And also the audio coming from the mic sounds pretty dang good to me. All right, so uh, the DJI Mic 2 has a wireless range of up to 820 feet with a clear line of sight. And so I'm just gonna just go as far as I can back over there just to test out the wireless range. It's kind of windy right now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully not too windy to knock over my camera because that's the only one I have right now. And uh, as long as you have a clear line of sight, you should hear clear audio, great for weddings, but keep in mind that if you turn your back, like if you if you mic'd up a subject with uh, with the microphone, the transmitter, uh, and, and the back is turned, then you might get some interference, kind of like this. I'm gonna keep walking. I don't know if you're gonna hear me, but as long as the receiver and the transmitter are in a clear line of sight, then you should be able to have clean and clear audio. Now, some things I don't really like about the DJI Mic 2 is the uh, is the Bluetooth pairing with other devices. Like, it's cool that I can connect and pair this transmitter with my iPhone, but the audio doesn't really sound good via Bluetooth. All right, so I've paired the DJI Mic 2 transmitter to my iPhone. Uh, this is what the audio sounds like. And yeah, the Bluetooth audio is, is okay. Um, but now I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to add the adapter, the USB-C adapter to the phone so that you can hear the audio from that. And now I've connected the receiver to the phone with the USB-C adapter. Here's the audio. Here's what it sounds like. Test, test, one, two, three. Yeah, audio sounds way better just using the adapter. Not so much the Bluetooth. So yeah, cool feature. I don't know if I'd use it, but Kind of cool that it's there. And the last thing that I don't like about the DJI Mic 2 is the uh, transparent design. Like, sure, it's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of the Nothing phone. But I don't know, if, if I have this clipped on to, to somebody or myself, like, you're going to see reflections and glares on this thing because it's so shiny. And so coming from that perspective, I'm not a big fan of that transparent design, but I don't know. I guess it looks cool. But other than that, I love the DJI Mic 2. Definitely a worthy upgrade from the original. Like, I mean, come on, everything that you can ever need can be in this carrying case. Like, it's just it's so good. And I might make a full tutorial on how to use uh, this mic. And so if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.